In this series of videos, we're going to design a simple single-family house with the Back Professional. We will cover some tools and features of the program to develop the project. However, taking into consideration how versatile the Back is, you could use other workflows to achieve the same result. Ok, let's jump into it. First, I'm going to show you my preferences so you can reproduce the same settings or change them as you wish. For this, I go to Tools and Preferences. Here, I can edit the sizes of the marks, grips and markers as well as other characteristics of the programs. In the Colors tab, we can change the color of some drawing elements. In the Partitions tab, we can name and set the value of the thicknesses available in the wall functions. We also have to make sure that the double side option is checked so we can create two-sided walls straight away. In the Joineries tab, we can define the default values and measurements for the Joineries function. Here we can set the default settings of the pillars and in the last tab we can manage the content of the toolbars as you like. We're going to start with the walls and partitions of the project. First, I enable the orthogonality locking to force the walls to horizontal or vertical directions and set the angle to 0 degrees. Then, I choose the thickness of the wall. I'm going to start with the external walls, so I select the thickness 25, which has assigned a value of 25 cm. I'm going to use a solid line and with the black color. For this, I choose the white color because when the background color is also white, the white line will be displayed as black. Now we're ready to start drawing. For this, I select the wall tool and click once on the viewport. I indicate a direction, type a length value, for example 5, and press enter. Now I can draw the second section of the wall. I can change the insertion point of the wall pressing the F5 key. Now I indicate the direction and type a new value, 3 and enter. I press the F5 button again and now I move the cursor towards the right to indicate a new direction. I, I type 6 and press enter. Now I move the cursor down, press F5, then type 7 and enter. The next one will be left, 12 meters, and enter. Now up, 4, enter, right, 1, and now I can close the sequence of walls clicking on the first wall that I've created. Ok, now we're going to change the wall thickness to draw the partitions. For this I select the thickness 9 for the wall which has assigned a thickness of 9 cm. I click on this corner, drag the mouse down and click on the internal side of the wall. Now I click on this corner and take it all the way to the opposite wall. Fixing the intersection between these two partitions is as easy as clicking on the intersection function, select one wall and then the other one. I'm going to use the parallel wall tool to distribute the rest of the rooms of the house. For this I click on the function and type the parallel distance value, for example 2 meters and press enter. Now I select the right side of this wall, click once on its right side to create the first side of the parallel wall and then click on its right side again to create the second side of the parallel wall. Now I'm going to do the same on its left side. So I select the left side of the original wall, click once on its left side and once again to create the parallel wall at 2 meters distance. Now I'm going to create the space for the wardrobes. I type 0.6 and press enter. Now I select this side of the wall and then click on its right side and then once again. Now I click on this side of the wall and do the same. Let's type a new value for the parallel wall. I type 2.5 and press enter. 
Now I click on the internal side of the wall and then click above two times, once here and then here. Let's finish doing the same thing for this wall. I'm going to delete some walls that I don't need for the project. To do this, I select the Erase tool, click on this wall section, and then right click to erase it. Now I select this section and then right click. As you can see, the Erase tool deletes and also fixes the wall's intersections automatically. Now I'm going to insert the doors of the project. I open the joinery's window and create a door of one slab in the interior of the wall and center inside. The slab will have a length of 80 centimeters. I accept and now I'm going to change the color of this door. I'll go for this red color and place the door in this wall. It's going to be forced in the center but I can change its opening direction, moving the mouse slightly to the right or left. Once I get the desired opening, I can click to insert the door. Now I can do a double click to open the joinery's window again. This time I check the two slabs to create a double door. I leave the rest of parameters as they are and insert the door in this wall. Now I can double click again to change the door settings. This time I go for a single door, centered on the wall, centered inside, and with a length of 0 0.725. I'm going to insert it in this wall and in this wall. Finally, I create the last door, but I'll only change the insertion method. This door will be at a fixed distance of 0.2 meters from the closest intersection. So now, every time I place the door in a wall, it will snap to be inserted at the indicated distance. I'm gonna insert this door in these walls. The process to insert the windows is very similar to the doors. So I open the Windows tab, click on flashing board I'm going to make a window that is centered inside the wall I'm gonna keep a number of two sashes and change the length to 1.4 I'm gonna keep the red color and as soon as I place this window in the wall it will snap to the center I'm going to insert these windows in these two walls as well here and here OK, now I can double click to open again the Windows tab. I'm going to change the insertion method to fix distance and set a value of 0.4. After clicking OK, I can place the window in this wall here and it will force itself to be at 40 centimeters from this intersection. Now I'm going to create a smaller window for the bathroom. So I double click to open the joinery's window. I set the length to 0 0.6, reduce the number of sashes, and change the fixed distance to 0 0.2. Now I place the window in this section of the wall and it will snap to be inserted at 0 0.2 meters from the closest wall intersection. Now I'm going to create the last window. I double click to set its parameters and this time I go for a large window. It will be inserted in the center of the inside wall and it will have two sashes and a length of 1.8 meters. I click OK and insert the window in this wall. After inserting all the windows, I'll finish with the wardrobes of the drawing. For this, I double click to open the joinery's properties and select the wardrobe tab. I'll choose hinge panels and change the panel size to 0.5. I accept and you'll see that the symbol of the wardrobe will adapt to the length of the wall. If I want to make a wardrobe with an even number of panels, I can delete this wardrobe open the joinery's window and check the force the number of panels to be even. 
I could change the panel size if I want to and click OK.